Nuke 12.0 is the first release in our 12 series and focuses on delivering greater performance and interactivity for artists and improving workflow efficiencies for common tasks. For artists working at scale, we have overhauled the way Nuke redraws its UI to improve UI performance and drastically reduce the feeling of Nuke's UI becoming unresponsive. This means that artists working on complex scripts with over 1,000 nodes will be able to keep on working to well above 10,000 nodes while maintaining interactivity and responsiveness inside of Nuke 12.0. Working in Nuke's 3D viewer with cards and imported geometry is part of what makes Nuke so powerful for artists. So to help improve user control and interactivity within this space, we're introducing a new soft selection feature that allows you to have a customizable fall off to your geometry vertex, face or edge selection. When combined with 11.3's lasso selection mode, this feature makes modifying geometry data for projection setups, last minute adjustments or any number of 3D workflows so much more effortless. Color management is something that touches all parts of production and managing this process can often be a difficult process, especially with different shows requiring different color pipelines. To help artists and TDs with how they manage color workflows in Nuke, we are introducing OCI roles. With OCI roles, you can set custom role names for different color spaces to make it easier for artists to instinctively know which LUT to use for any element or footage. The artist still has access to all the color space options they've always had, but now the roles can act as a quick way for artists to understand the color workflow of a given show. In Nuke 12.0, we wanted to include a couple tools to help speed up artists' everyday workflows. With that in mind, we developed an inbuilt edge extend node and a new inpaint node for contextual painting. We also made sure that both of these nodes are GPU accelerated and performant regardless of the scale of the areas you are working with. The new Edge Extend node allows you to erode or dilate your sample region to pull pixels from deeper inside your alpha, as well as the ability to recover the original detail and noise with no introduction of artifacts. The InPaint node introduces the ability to create contextual paint strokes, similar to Photoshop's Healing Brush, and then control the level of detail or even the ability to pull this detail from another part of the source image or even a second image entirely. This is great for quickly pulling textures to help integrate in-paint patches or even cloning new textures into the image. The Grid Warp Tracker node in NukeX is a new tool for helping create match moves, tracker warps and morphs. This node provides an alternate solution to the manual tracking you previously had to do when utilizing the planar tracker, which would constrain you to rigid transformations. With the Grid Warp Tracker, you can warp across custom defined grid shapes and use smart vectors to drive the grids. Within this node, a to and from grid enable you to add and copy tracking data between grids, allowing you to retest or make amendments without losing your original data and without having to create a backup version of the node. You can also add an adjustment grid where you can modify your to or from grid shapes without altering the original data. Because adjustment grids are driven either by the tracking data applied to the to or from grid, you can make changes to your adjustment grid on a single frame and have this propagate across the entire sequence. You can also set keyframes for finer adjustments and corrections. With Nuke 12.0, we are bringing the majority of Cara VR's nodes into Nuke X, which means that not only can more artists have access to tools for VR and stereo workflows, but these new GPU accelerated nodes will help enhance and improve traditional 2D workflows as well. For instance, when trying to solve non-traditional camera setups, you can utilize Cara Solver and Stitcher nodes, or for help removing artifacts on different types of footage, then Cara's GPU accelerated spherical transform node becomes invaluable and offers a greater toolkit than Nuke's own spherical transform node with faster results. As part of this merge, VR headset support will be available in Nuke, NukeX, Hero and Nuke Studio. For our timeline products, we have made great improvements to the playback engine to help ensure you always have a stable and fast playback with the ever-growing demands of delivering higher resolution content. With this in mind, we've implemented new timing and control logic that greatly improves playback performance and stability, allowing for 8K playback, all while supporting color-managed workflows with multi-channel EXRs.